Hello and welcome. My name is Sun Bob and we're playing Robocraft. Today I wanted to talk about something I've been hearing online uh, in the games and in the uh, in the streams about weapons order of shooting. Um, there's a hypothesis that when you have like rails and nanos um, only six will fire in one session. And if you have more than that, which of the guns are the ones that will be firing? So today I wanted to test that. The, the general scuttlebutt is that they fire in the order that you place them on it when you build it. Uh, that seems to be generally accepted anyway. So I wanted to see. I've got a new um, rail copter that I just built and I wanted to put some rails on it. Let's put some rails on it and let's take it out and let's see. So as you can see there's spots for on the red blocks there's spots for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course you can only use six. So two of them will be backups or redundants. So let's start by putting one, two, three. And let's put the three in the back, four, five, and six. Now if this hypothesis is true, then those would be my six primary guns that I'd use. And then seven and eight would be redundants, would be backups if one of these gets shot off. So, let's find out. We'll take it in and we'll test it here and see what we find. I've always wondered about this myself, so I never really knew. But it won't be hard to figure out. Here, we'll just shoot at a black at a black wall. Okay. Um back right. Hmm. So That's interesting. Let's try that again. So, first one to fire is inside the middle left. Back left. Front left. Center front. Back right. Middle right. So the two that are redundant are back center, up on the pylon, and right front. That's not how we put them out. We put it out so that those two in the middle would be the backups. Hmm. All right, how about for distance? Let's, let's see if that makes a, a difference. Nope, inside left. Back left, front left, center, back right. So I've got a left-handed bot. Okay, oh, and the last one, right center. First four shots come from the left and the center front. Last two shots come from the right on the t on back and middle. Huh, that's not how we placed them. All right, well that would tell me that the hypothesis is not correct. All right, well then let's try nanos. And I've got Where'd it go? Come on, I just had it. There's, there's Robo. Robo ICU. 
Robo ICU has seven nanos, and of course only six will fire at, at any given time. So we'll go in here. Seven. So let's set it up so all of them on the outside are the ones that get, get used. Oh, come on, I just took you off there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, that should be our primary guns. And then the middle one will be redundant. All right, well, let's take it in. And let's see. Now setting up your nanos is important because you want as many streams as possible striking that mega or whatever you're trying to heal. All right, let's go heal this. Let's go heal this sign. Okay, first target. Um, back right isn't, it's the back right that isn't firing. So that didn't make, that. this didn't work either. All right, how about if we're... Eh, all right, how about if we're firing to the side? No, it's still the back right that isn't firing. Up high same difference so when I take this guy out now we know that the back right is the redundant I actually got onto this idea wonderment about it because I used to have a nano on the back of this. I used to have a nano placed back here where I now have I've replaced it with radar and that one was always trying to fire when I was trying to fire forward and I couldn't get more than four or five sometimes even only three guns on the poor guy I was trying to heal. Just not efficient. So I was trying to figure out how to do this, how to set up my guns differently so they'd be more efficient. So the way it's set up now, this one up here is the one that's not firing. So we've got these three and these three. Huh, but that's not how we put them on. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let's, t let's try, just for the heck of it. Let's try placing them again and see what happens. All right. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slightly different placement. Let's see if that made any difference. Hmm, which one is not firing? Okay, now it's the center front that isn't firing. I don't like that. That makes it really hard. So it changes when I redo my pl gun placements. Apparently so. Yep, it's that center front that's not firing. No, no, no. I want that center front or center center front to be firing. Let's take this back. I liked it better the other way. Gonna put them back in the exact same spot. No, we're not. Let's put this one. Nope, that won't go there. Why does that not want to go there? Does that? Okay, we'll put it back in the exact same spot. All right. Let's take it in again. <laughs> All right, come on over here. We want to heal you. Well, now it's the left front. We don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> the sound for the nanos continues. Yep, now it's the left front. So apparently it changes each time you change the uh, place placements. Each time you fiddle with the placement. Just out of curiosity, does it change each time you go in if you haven't placed them? Well, let's, let's not change anything, but we'll just go back in now. Didn't change it. It's still the left front. I don't like that. Yep. Yep. 
It's the left front that isn't firing. I want those front guns firing, so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to mess around with the guns again until we get all three of those in the front firing. Let's see if we can get that to happen. Let's see. Well, here, let's just do this. We'll take those off, put them back on. Does that make a difference? That didn't make a difference. Apparently, you have to take them all off, possibly, and put them back on again. Hmm. All right. So now I know. I really would like that left front though because that's frequently how I come in. Let's go right like that and my nearest gun doesn't want to fire. I'm definitely have to play with this and move them around. Alright, let's just check and see if that makes a difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put X mode on and speed this up. All right. Now we introduced another variable, X mode may, have, may change things as well. But in this case, that's okay. We know that the placement order does, is not the key. Well, now it's the right front that doesn't want to hit, doesn't want to fire. All right, well, I'm done messing with this. So going into battle, I know that my right front is the redundant gun. Hmm, okay. Well, now I can keep that in mind as I learn how to play this. I may well play with my healer off camera and get it so that these three are the primary guns firing and three of these others. That would be ideal. Oop, that's not what we wanted. So we'll go back to the garage. So what have we learned? Well, the hypothesis, the general wisdom that the order of placement when you build the bot is the order of firing does not seem to be the case, at least in these experiments, for at least for rails and nanos. And also that it will change, though, when, when you redo them then it then it'll pick a different one to be the backup so you may want to take your your bot into if you haven't been happy with the performance take your bot into the test mode and see which guns are firing and 
and see and play with it until you get the configuration that you want. That's what I'm going to be doing. I, th I don't mind having a left-handed uh, rail gunner. That's okay. I'm not going to mess with that one, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because it was, we know that these four and these two fire. This one and this one are backups. I don't mind having that as a backup. That's, because that's frequently the first one that the enemy is going to want to try to shoot off. <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible? All he's doing is taking out one of my redundant guns. All right. Well, folks, that was interesting. I learned a lot. Um, play around with it yourself and maybe even put into the comments what you find. And if you've found something different, please let me know. This is still something that I know I'm not the only one wondering about. So, check it out. One of the fun parts about RoboCraft is not just going in and shooting people. It's building these, playing with them, figuring out how, how to set them up the way you want them. And that's the fun part for me. So, I guess that'll be it for this episode. So, folks, as always, do your fighting in the games, but in your world... I bid you peace. Bye-bye.